Hi and welcome to PowerPoint Shuffle Game Tutorial. This is the one I created earlier, so it works just like any other shuffle game. And what I intend to do right now is to show you guys how I have managed to put this together so that you can also maybe put something like this together if you want. Okay. So what I'll do next is uh, take you guys straight into PowerPoint and we produce or develop something very similar to this. Right underneath, however, is uh, the picture of the image I intend to, that I'm actually trying to put together. That's the picture there. That's the whole reason why it's there, just uh, as a guide so that you know how to put it together. This very image, if you guys can recall, I already have it on uh, YouTube. I develop it using a uh, flash. So what I'll do next is let me just take you guys straight into the Photoshop itself, where I've cut these pictures. To then we take it from there, really. Okay, I'm in Photoshop now. So all I just want to show you guys is how to slice up the image. That's the image I intend to use. And make sure your slice tool here is selected that is the right there and right click on it select divide so because i've already selected divide horizontally i've made that four and divide vertical is four click on ok the next thing i do is save it into my directory i will i'll be saving this on the desktop you just click save and and that's it save it straight into your desktop or wherever you intend to save it so let me just save my somewhere on the desktop okay maybe inside the images here let's let's i'll call it town too and and that's all there is to it so if i click on save and that's it done so that's how you slice up the images so if i go into my into the area where I save my images right here double click on that that is it town 2 double click on town 2 and those are the images slice up so that's how easy it is so I will forget let's forget about forget about the Photoshop I mean and let's go straight into PowerPoint yeah so that's how those images are were put together so now let me show you how it was designed and uh, how the pictures was embedded onto each image okay we are in powerpoint now so what i do next is go straight into file new program and i'm just going to be using a blank slide actually i'll get rid of those there and the next thing is go straight into my developer menu up there i'll be using this active x object so let's select image we look for image that's it image active x so the size of this image when you you can always click on the properties to get that set i will set that as 88 and the width will be uh, let me go for 179 no 197.8 75 because that is that's the size of my images and that's all there is to it all and then need to do is to copy it across so i'm just going to copy it across and get back to you guys or just, let's just show you one click on that copy yes that's two so and so on that's what i'll do now okay i now have 16 active images on board i'm just going to copy one more that'll be the the indicator the one that'll show you how the image will look like or the how the image that you want to develop should look so that's it right there so i will now go into the property of that very image okay this very one i'll go into the picture property select my town image right there that's it and um, the next thing is to go to the picture size mode and change that to stretch right here that's it so we can see that image so the next thing is 
just randomly select any of your image right there image object go to the picture property and select whatever image you intend to use so I'm in town so I'm going to select let me select maybe number 15 right there so number 15 is up there number 16 I will select that to be a white image that I've created that's it right there and just before then let me change the background of this very number 16 let's change the background of that to white as well so make sure you don't miss that there now we can now select the image the white image and that is it there okay so since that is done now you know, the background should be white here yeah. let's get a white problem yeah that's that's good and the border doesn't have to be white okay that's fine so the next thing is go to image number two and select whatever image you want any image so maybe i'm going to just select number maybe number 11 so um no let's go for maybe number eight okay so if you notice i've selected number 15 here and number eight here so i will now speed that up and get back to you guys okay guys this is how the game is looking so the next thing i'll do is right click on the slide itself and uh, let's come to format background select whatever format i like so let me select change the color maybe a little bit darker yeah that looks a bit all right so as the pattern i intend to use for this very game so the next thing is go to file make sure you save it as a macro file okay so you select you drop this down and you select powerpoint macro enable presentation okay i've already saved it so i'm just going to cancel it so let's go back the next thing is double click on this very image and that's your image one if you go to your property you will see right there image one image two and the direction of movement of image one is to image two or image one can always move to image five image two can move to image one or move to image three and also move vertically to image six right there and so on so i will now double click on image one and enter the following lines of code using conditional statement as if image two dot back color equals white you will see this white color notation in powerpoint property if it equals white and image two dot picture equals image one dot picture okay then image two change the color the back color of image two dot back color let's change that back to gray and that h eight and six zeros actually and an f that will give you that will give you a gray then you will end up by saying image one dot picture equals let's load picture that's one of the method the picture to be loaded is right there that is it in my own directory and this very picture is just a white a plain white picture then you now say image one dot back color itself equals white there that's all there is to it and if so what i'll do is i'm just going to copy this see, copy i will now come into my slide right there double click on image number two paste that in there all i need to change is for the movement the direction of movement for image number two is as follows that will be 
one, 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 and that is two, okay, and this will be two as well. That's the direction of movement for image two. But for image one, the other direction of movement for image number one is supposed to be, if we go back in there, it moves to two and it also moves to three. So, sorry, it moves to direction image two and it also moves vertically to image five. So image two and five. So let's go back into the codes. So this becomes five. There. That is that for image number one sorted. Image number two. Another. The other direction of movement for image number two is one, three, and six. One, three, and six. So since I've covered that of one, all I need to do is copy this. Just copy that. Paste it there and change the image to three there. Okay. Let's move up a little bit. Now the other direction of movement is six. So we have six here and so on guys so i will now speed this up so i've co i've completed image one and i've also completed image three so i will now speed this up and get back to you guys this is how the program is looking right now i've finished the whole coding you can see you see the similarity in the coding really okay that's for image three now image four you can see the direction of movement is 3 and 8 image 5 3 direction of movement 1 6 and 9 then let's look at image 6 image 6 direction of movement is 2 5 7 and 10 you see the similarity in the codes is very easy so you guys can do that make sure you get it done and you enjoy it and that's uh, image 7 Image 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So all I'll do now is take you guys straight in there and select, come over here, select my slideshow, click on that and just give it a try that's it guys you see how easy it is to create or to develop your own shift game using powerpoint so all that is left for you is just to try and put this together so with that i'm just gonna say bye for now you all have a nice day